This is the CMT trade fair in Stuttgart. Early morning, 8.30. You can hear the uh, hoovers are out, people cleaning the stand up, but that's better than having stacks of people around or indeed, uh, as I've just come from, music blaring out. And you can see how many people are here. So the music was effectively for my benefit uh, and your benefit, because it means to say you can't see the Burstner vans, not the Burstner one, sorry, the Deathless fans, uh, because I have fear of uh, copyright infringements. This here is the Campio C540 introduced in January 2020 and uh, let's have uh, a look at it. So this vehicle here is, well let's have a look at the details directly. Okay first thing you'll notice basic price here 38,590 this one here 45,119. Uh, an interesting thing is on Erwin Humer Group Finance and this is obviously only in Germany but it says from 272 euros a month 95 installments of 272 uh, giving an interest rate effective interest rate of 2.99 percent um, uh, that requires a deposit of 15,400 and 36 so that that's a very basic uh, but that's in Germany it does not apply to any other country but it, it, I think it, it is a guide it may be interesting okay the uh, 541 centimeters by 205 has got four sleeping places so first thing that stands out uh, there's plenty of space above the front seats that's a good idea Fiat Ducato, often people put them in. Table is too small, four sleeping places may, may have, but how many people around the table can you fit? Admittedly, this like extension, extension looks big, but uh, most of it's, not most of it, but a good part of it is gonna be under the table, so uh, it will help you put your uh, cup of tea or glass of beer on the table. If you're sitting in the passenger seat, it won't be much good for anything else right oh uh, here's a fridge uh, it's a magic dometic one it's magic because it opens like that and like that hey these fridges are really popular i thought the heimer group had a um what do you call it? exclusivity on it but as it turns out it doesn't uh because obviously burston is part of the heimer group but uh, there's other companies using it as well there's your fuse box easy to get to access place because it's only a small van so anywhere you've got is going to be easyish access but at least it's not on the boot or something or the garage i should say uh all right skylight up there all right well in all camper vans just about the same dometic two ring and small sink setup. It's only 541 centimeters long. You can't expect anything more. As there's a fridge here at this end, there's no drawers down here. Again, uh, that stands to reason. You may have one thing in one place. You've got a little bit of space down there. If you've got small pans, uh, won't be much good for uh, feeding four. Or it might be some all right for feeding four if you sort of have two sittings uh, in your van. Right, 541 centimeters. I say that yet again. Uh, the reason for which is you've got a really big wet room for such a size. I mean, that's pretty good, really. So, full marks for that. Yeah, I hope they can put that uh, Hoover up a bit louder, actually, because I would. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it well enough. All right, this is a. What do you call doors like that? It's not really a sliding door, is it? It's a sort of a accordion-like door, but it's not really an accordion. Any, whatever those doors are called, it's got one of them. It's only got a old camper-style uh, plug. Although I do like these bumps in the floor. That's good uh, for older people actually to stop them falling over. I suggest to my mother she got something like that. And there's me. I see I cut myself shaving again didn't notice that this morning. Either that, I, I cut myself in the last van I was in. One of the two. Or maybe it was them three people I sort of attacked on the way in. 
Oh me, I shouldn't have attacked three. I, they were bigger than me, of course. And half my age. Anyway, bed at the back. That's quite nice, actually. I'm, I'm not going to complain at that. Oh, and down here, you've got a, a bit of a wardrobe as well. So, uh, you can give your own marks to this. I've sort of said what I think's good and what's uh, not so good. I mean, for the price, uh, comparatively speaking, thing it is it isn't too bad right uh, there you've got your uh, your electrics you can turn the 12 volt off here so if I turn that the light should come off well some of them do and and you can see how much water and uh, uh, this state of the charge of your batteries from up there or approximate state of charge of batteries approximate state of the water as well Campio the van by Bursner okay there's that. Note that, okay, this is called Evo Pore. Comfort and sustainability for the for the mattress. Oh, I know this stuff. There's a um, friend of mine worked in the mattress factory. In fact, I've got some of these the, uh, uh, these things here, the offcuts. Uh, there's slatted bed, as I suppose you'd expect. Gas cupboard. Right. Okay. We've seen the Campio, let's see something else. Um, they do have a rather nice sort of display around here, and that's quite good. Here's another Campio. This one here, the van by Bursner, is in blue. So will that put the price up at all? Possibly not, but what will put the price up is the tent in the roof. Right, 39,900, 57,919. Why does it cost 18,000 more? It's because of this tent in part but there'll be other things as well. I mean a tent roof doesn't cost that much. A tent and roof if you wanted to buy one would cost you around 4,000 euros approximately and then you'd have to install it. You might want to get a professional installer to do it unless you're really good because you might end up uh, paying a lot more when you damage the roof of your van. Uh, so you've got to, I mean if you, the places will do it for about a thousand perhaps if you're ultra lucky. Anyway, this one here has got a fridge that only opens one way. The back, it seems very similar. The light, just turn the lights off. The reason I turn the lights off is because I moved down here and the lights, my hip hit the lights. I'm going to tie that. So that, that's the Campio C600. Here's another Sat Campio C600, but without a tent in the roof. This thing here will cost 55,259. So obviously this has got one or two extras from the 39,900 um, uh, basic price. Uh, so right, so what, what I'm presuming is that here we make a bed actually up front from the from the table. Although I'm quite honest. Don't see how. And see, it hasn't got the second bar, has it? Half. Uh, anyway, I'm presuming. I'm presuming that they expect people to sleep on the floor or something. Right. Um, this one comes with a, a sort of a blind, which is over the chairs. There might be a reason for that. Patented cabunk. Right. Oh, so here we can see it. Oh, it's quite good this because you can see what it looks like uh, with, with the bed lifted up. So you've got all this space down here, which isn't bad. I can't complain that too much, I suppose. Easily get a few bikes in there. Got a game of football as well. This is the Campio C640. So that'll be the length. 
although I bet it's 636 centimeters long and I genuinely have not looked this up so let's have a look am I right yes I am well that was an easy thing to do wasn't it uh, 42,500 base price 58,889 yeah, I'll give you a tick, tick through the finance again from 299 a month and uh, 96 months to pay deposit 17,000 euros deposit of 17,000 euros for something costing 42,000 so it's like roughly a third isn't it no slightly in fact no it's, it's even more than that um, anyway well I'd like to be able to do things more on finance because I think that's really a subject that interests uh, most people more than anything else. They will say, how much does it cost? But I mean, how do you pay for it? Things you have to do with each country uh, differently. So, so that's the uh, so that's the problem. Within the European Union, each country is responsible for its economic policy. So, um, even though within the uh, eurozone you have uh, the interest rates are set for for the whole uh, um, for the whole block, uh, the uh, interest rates will vary within country to country for private things such as this. Right. Um. Right, so um, there you go, that's that, hope you found that of interest, and uh, yeah, I'll finish off pointing it, I think I've pointed that one there, it was the one I started off with, I've got the, uh, I've got the tree in the way, I'll point, I'm going to point at this one here instead, this blue one, that looks quite nice, get the tent in the roof. Thanks for watching. If you get any benefit, please do consider supporting me on Patreon and uh, do subscribe. And I'll have to have a competition in the video. If I remember, and the next one I film, I'll do it then.